This year, the Royal Australian Air Force also attended Classic Fighters for the first time, bringing with them two of their de Havilland Canada DHC-4 Caribou transport aircraft. While these aircraft initially flew in 1958, the ruggedness and the usefulness of the design has enabled the RAAF to continue to operate 14 examples of the type to this day. The Caribou can carry up to 32 troops or two jeeps and the rear loading ramp also enables the aircraft to be used for air-to-ground resupply missions. Designed as a specialist short takeoff and landing aircraft, the Caribou initially served with the US during the Vietnam War. By 1961, some of the 159 examples of the type then operated by the US Army were flying transport and cargo missions in Vietnam, some five months before there were any significant number of US helicopters in the region. The RAAF aircraft currently perform both troop and cargo transport functions, and the ruggedness of the type provides a capability to operate from short airfields with rough or soft surfaces. The Brazilian Air Force is another still operating Caribous, but they are in the process of being replaced with more modern Spanish-built turboprop Casa 295s. The RAAF DHC-4s are expected to continue in operational service for at least another five years, until 2012. Hopefully this means we'll see them back at another classic fighter show or two, before they're finally retired. <laughs>